what's good guys it is your boy jason jv saying welcome to another reaction video and yes yes y'all finally we are coming up to the finale of this album review the album that we are reviewing is none other than after the tone which is brought to us by none other than our man we scheme the last song and i say song for a reason we're gonna get into why um that is up on deck is a song simply called destructive hands um now being at the epilogue, which immediately follows after this song, is only about a minute, 45 seconds. We're going to jump into that right after we uh, get done reacting to this song. So make sure y'all stick around for that. And then that will pretty much be a wrap for the album review for After the Tone. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. Once again, from Wee Scheme, straight off of his latest album, After the Tone. The last song, not track, but the last song that's up on deck it is called Destructive Hands. Without further ado, like a hit hit. Go. Gotta admit, I'm not a real big fan of like the piano but i mean i shouldn't say that because i mean i don't mind listening to like piano music piano music is beautiful to listen to um i've always been like a eh, little, little 50 50 on it but as a closer for this album though i feel like it fits very well and, I, and i'm digging it man let's go i always been little easter egg i probably would have missed if i if i was listening to this for the first time or if i was watching this for the first time someone pointed out that the shirt he is wearing is the same shirt he wore back in the day when he originally started working on this album which i thought was a really neat e easter egg and it's and it's poetic justice if you will um for him to top it all off by wearing that shirt you know what i mean because especially because it, it means a lot to him you know what i mean it, it takes him back to that time where he was you know working on this album originally with this person that he was working with at the time let's go that would push me this far away i forgave big and small how could you do this to me break my heart eternally so cruel make me out to be a fool guess i'm a fool i'm a so this is more like a a broken hearted a more melancholy type of scheme here which is something that you don't really hear very often i mean it's rare for him to put out i i don't know if i even go as far as say it's rare i mean I don't really think Scheme really puts this kind of music out that much, you know what I mean? But for him to go in this direction and to really show his vulnerability says a lot about him as a human being, you know. It lets you know at the end of the day that, you know, behind the mask, you know, the uh, the uh, jokes, the, the uh, sarcasm, you know, deep down is, is, is a man who was... Who, who was dealing with, with a lot of pain, if you will, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, a lot of sorrow, you know what I'm saying? And um, I can't help but feel for the dude, you know what I mean? Yo, let's go. Always true in that you've known You always had And my love for you I've shown Joy I bring for every cut. 
decision stands And you just wanted to break free I put my heart in destructive hands How could you do this to So now I get what he, what he means by destructive hands He put his heart in destructive hands <clears throat> you know, I mean, because of the anger, you know, or and, and the hurt, the pain that this man was going through, you know what I mean, that's what led into uh, the whole persona, the, the, the mask, you know what I mean, everything that this man was doing prior to finally let, showing the world who he truly is, you know, it, you're basically getting the backstory of what caused all that in the first place, you know. Why he was speaking in the way that he was in the first place when it came to like critiquing music and you know just scheme being a sarcastic asshole, you know what I'm saying? It there there is there's more to the man than what we were seeing on the surface, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, let's go. To me, break my So there you have it, guys. Uh, that was Destructive Hands by We Scheme. And look, man, mad love, mad respect, you know, for the man for putting himself out there, you know, and letting us all in. <clears throat> uh, you know what I mean? It's just, it takes a lot of balls, a lot of balls, a lot of heart, you know what I'm saying? A great deal of courage for him to put himself out there like that, you know what I mean? With this kind of music that he that he loves to make, you know what I mean, that he loves to put out for all of us to hear, you know, man, I definitely got to give this one a like, you know what I mean, out of love, out of respect, you know, for my man, this album is just, wow, it's just, I mean, I don't think any, any words, any praise would do this album justice, I mean, it's phenomenal, it's fantastic, and it told a story you know it, it did a great job telling a story you know of what happened and why he felt the way that he did and why he is the way that he is you know uh, now coming up next will be uh, the epilogue simply called healing so uh, let's go ahead jump into that right quick and uh, I'll give my overall final thoughts all right y'all let's go ahead and jump into the healing Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm tired. Yeah. So I guess I'll just get right into it. I, I really do. I want to apologize for what happened 12 years ago. And even though I didn't have any intentions of screwing you over or hurting you in any way, it doesn't matter because I did. Some of that has been dealing with undiagnosed ADHD that I had in my childhood and still have <laughs> something that, you know, it's something people have and, and a lot of people have ADHD and it's resulted in a lifetime of disappointing people <laughs> a lot, which I know sucks for other people, but it, it also sucks for the person that continues to do that, you know? I don't, I don't remember at all ignoring you, ignoring calls. And uh, even though 
like you know the impact was personal but it was not personal and and i think that you understand that like these issues are not like excuses but it is the truth of why <laughs> so that's what i wanted you to know And there you have it, guys. That was the healing epilogue, uh, which is at the end of this album, After the Tone. And, hey, look, man. I'm glad my man finally got that that sense of, of closure. Um, I'm glad that, you know, uh, he and, and this woman uh, were able to reconnect and patch things up. Um, I mean, I'm glad that my man actually let her explain her side of things and whatnot. You know, and, 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 you know, and I think it's understandable, I mean, to hear on her end too, like, yeah, it's, it, she had her own, own things going on. She had her own issues that she needed to work out. So it wasn't like she meant for things to happen the way that they did, you know, but hey, life happens sometimes, you know what I mean? And like I said, I'm just glad that he, he and her, they finally got that closure and they were able to patch things up. Now, I don't know if this is still on Scheme's channel. Um, if memory serves, I think he said he was going to take it down. But he did do a live stream and uh, he invited um, the woman that was on, on the call. Um, I, I don't want to say her name because I, I, I don't know how comfortable either Scheme or... Um, we'll call her Jane because I think that's the name that he referred to her as on his stream. Uh, I don't think he or Jane uh, would, would feel comfortable in me because at the end of the day, who am I um, to be sharing, you know, her name out like that. Um, if you guys really want to know, uh, if you go to Scheme's channel, uh, he did do a stream where he invited Jane on and she lets everyone know who she is, you know, and gives like her her side of things, you know, what was going on, you know, when when like what happened like when they met and when they were working together and then some of like what happened of after they were no longer working together and um, how they were able to come back into contact with each other and were able to hash things out and um, make and finally have that like I said get get that closure and get that sense of peace on both sides and uh, she did reveal that she has a YouTube channel but again I'm not going to share that directly I don't feel like it's my place so I'd rather you guys go to Scheme's channel, check out his stream if you really want to know uh, what this woman's uh, YouTube channel is. Um, yes, she does music, and uh, yeah. And then you guys can can make up your own minds. You know what I mean? Do you, <clears throat> you know, where, where do you guys stand with everything? Do you you guys think you know all you know? What you know? I mean. Is she right with what she did? Is she wrong with what she did? Or like, like where, where do you guys stand with everything from what you heard here? And uh, yeah. And then uh, if you guys were there at that stream and you want to share your thoughts about that stream in the comment section down below, um, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, just please be nice about it. Be respectful about it. And uh, yeah. Where I stand with everything, you know, um... Like, I, I get it. You know what I mean? Like I said, life happens sometimes. And uh, I totally understand his side. But at the same time, I understand her side as well. And I'm just glad that they were finally able to make amends. And uh, get, get back into contact and make amends. And uh, hopefully, uh, sometime in the near future, um, if at all, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll make some more music together. I think that would be awesome. You know what I mean? To really kind of cap off, you know, that whole, you know, the whole piece closure and what have you you know what i mean start anew as far as like the musical end of things you know what i'm saying but uh yeah overall the album as far as the album is concerned i love it i mean i i love the way it started and i love how it closes out you know what i mean it started out like i said hot and heavy as far as like anger frustration i mean he still had that pretty much all throughout but his demeanor and everything was just, it was starting to mellow out. Like, it was starting to, like, le le level off. Like, I, I guess you could say, mellow out. Um, and, yeah, I thought it was very well done. You know what I mean? It's 
yeah, it's a great album. Like I said, I can't recommend it enough. Make sure you guys go and support this album however you can. Um, whether it's getting a hard copy from his website or getting that, that USB cassette from his website, WeScheme.com, or uh, getting a digital copy from any and all digital store download ser services, and uh, or just playing it on, on or streaming it, just streaming it, like on Spotify or something, or hell, even just coming to his channel and playing the album on directly from his channel you know what i mean however you guys can support this album make sure you do so highly recommend it you will not be disappointed um yeah i'm so glad i got both a hard copy and a digital copy on my itunes um i did the same thing for wild cards album because i loved I, I love wild cards um new album as well so yeah highly recommend both of these albums if you don't have them already you know what i'm saying Wild Cards Shadow Work and We Schemes After the Tone. Two very solid albums. And uh, the, and the more I think about it, you know, the funnier it is to me that um, and that both of these albums, uh, both of which are are mainly about a woman, you know what I mean, um, in these guys' lives. Only difference is with, with Wild Card, um, what happened with him... And uh, the the woman that he had feelings for was that you know it's uh, him and this woman they they were separated because of a tragedy. Um, unfortunately, um, Kim Vizina, who who Wildcard dedicated this album to, um, she unfortunately left um, this earth far too soon. Um, yeah, it was a horrible tragedy with Scheme. Uh, his circumstances were a bit different, you know what I mean? Oh, oh. Him and, and this woman, you know what I mean, that he had a friendship with, I mean, she just disappeared out of his life for a long period of time, but then now they were able to, you know, come re reconnect, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's... Yeah, it, it's just it's just weird, like, the circumstances of when these albums dropped and um, and that they both have something to do with a with a woman that were in these these guys lives it's crazy how life plays out ain't it but anyways y'all uh i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i'm gonna close this off i'm gonna say thank you all for uh watching all of my reactions and uh taking uh this journey down with me with, from with from starting off from wall cards uh wall card takeover week when we're looking at wall cards shadow work and uh up until here uh, we schemes after the tone don't go anywhere though make sure you guys keep it locked on here because i do have more reactions um planned and scheduled to come out we got some we got some new we got a new song from jewel um from the jmp camp that we gotta have have a look at and uh, we're gonna have a look at some more night wish as well so stick around for that and um yeah many, many more down the pipeline that will be uh coming up soon so yeah all right y'all I love this album. If you guys do as well, and uh, you want to, <clears throat> and if you guys want, you want to listen to this and uh, watch this on your own free time, uninterrupted, um, I will be sure to leave the link for uh, for Destructive Hands. I almost said Healing. Uh, Destructive Hands um, in the description down below as well. I will also leave the link for Healing as well if you guys want to uh, listen to that right after. And... Um, yeah, uh, if you're with this reaction and if you're liking this album review so far, make sure y'all are liking and sharing. But would really appreciate that. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up as well. Well, hitting the thumbs up, liking, pretty much same thing. <laughs> but yeah, um, make sure you guys are, are, are hit up that that thumbs up and then also leave your comments too in the comment section down below. Let's be respectful and civil about it though, if we can, please. Um, and uh yeah and don't forget guys check out all the links in the description down below including the two store links such as the teespring merch store link the cool hawaii cbd product link both of which have their own discount codes to help save you some money on your purchases and also guys if you want to just donate to the cause how about the channel link for the paypal is in the description down below as well if you absolutely cannot support the channel financially no worries all good no hard feels trust all understand uh you are still helping out in the long run by simply clicking that subscribe button, dinging that notification bell, make sure you select all so you never miss an upload, which doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. A, hey, uh, 
if you're new here of course and of course liking and sharing my videos so more eyes can be on the channel since teamwork makes dream work you best believe i cannot be picked up on the youtube algorithm without y'all and i recognize it speaking of teamwork guys don't forget in the uh section under the folks who i rock with um there will be a list of content creators such as my man we scheme wild card as to who i mentioned earlier and of course my man alpha tyler uh simple reacts how to combustible reacts lunatic uh geminator um yeah make sure you guys go and check them out as well hook them up with some with some likes with some shares if you're digging what they're putting out make sure y'all hook them up with, with a with a sub if you're not sub to them already and ding their bells we would greatly appreciate that and um yeah now i think i nailed everything so with all that being said it is your boy jason jv so y'all take care have a blessed one i catch y'all in the next one all right peace